Con Juana, con Juan, 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 and the investment methodology that we do. We're actually improving. Uh, we're going on a multi-year period now of improvement in the economy on many different fronts. Unemployment, as we'll get into a little bit later, has been coming down. As Jamco, we imply we employ a private market value with a catalyst approach of mergers and acquisitions continuing to increase both in the United States. The stock market is actually down a little bit. So, it is down depending on which measure you're looking at from a stock market point of view are one geopolitical risk and during their years of rapid growth in china when they were growing by more than 10 percent a year they were aggressively building out their infrastructure market and that sell-off in the chinese market which we think was long overdue had ripple implications however interest rates are very low in the united states of america as they are in most places globally in fact, short-term global growth and slowdown in China and other geopolitical risks. Um, Mario Gabelli started our firm with valuations for what these companies are worth and then finding nice discounts in the marketplace. Well, we offer two different products and in the United States equity market there is market risk and as interest rates start to rise, which we think they will in the United States of America, that could lead to some volatility in the stock market, although we think that uh, a lot of that risk is already discounted in the U.S. stock market. Well, the merger arb strategy has proven to be an attractive investment vehicle in that its goal is to provide uh, absolute returns uh, non correlated to the market. So if the market goes up or down, we're st our goal is to still earn a positive return that's non-market correlated. And through our 30-year track record, we've been doing that uh, at Gamco. During the last month, we've seen the Chinese economy slow down, and as the second largest economy in the world that has had ripple implications across the globe, in the United States of America, it's had some in, um, implications in our stock market, uh, but for the United States, of America, which is the largest economy in the world, direct exports to China represent only 1% of the GDP of the United States of America. So we think it's very much of a manageable slowdown in China as it relates to the United States of America.